you know about the great lady monica and she went and told her the paris priest ambrose that my husband is a drunkard he makes my life hell he doesn't go for work and the little money i am earning that also he takes it away i want to leave him and ambrose said yes you are going through a lot of suffering i can see from your face i will pray to jesus tonight and i i will tell you tomorrow what jesus tells you so monica that i am going to be relieved god knows my pain and suffering this fellow makes my life miserable at least god will understand me and going to tell me leave that fellow so she went and asked paris priest father did you pray for me yes i prayed did jesus speak yes jesus spoke about you what did he tell me to do he told me to tell you if this drunkard man would have fallen into the hands of some other woman they would have left him long ago but god gave this drunkard man into your hands that you will save his soul what i have to save his soul yes the husband did not give him give her gold or even clothes or even respect no house and now i have to save his soul the drunkard who made my life miserable she took it as from jesus started to search for her husband brought the husband home a dirty singing dirt she used to clean up his head wash his face remove his shoes socks wash his feet make him to eat something and sleep love transforms everything we read in 1st corinthian 13 10 love bears all things love forgives all things love transforms all things i am not here as a helper i am here as an agent of god to continue what god did for mankind on the cross today i am called to join with him to redeem the world that's why god has placed me in a particular place where full of problem where people are full of evil people in that place god has kept me with a mission not that i will become victim of that evil but i will become an agent of god an agent of the holy spirit what is what is the holy spirit do romans 5 5 says the holy spirit fills our hearts with the love that is his work yes and make us men and women of love that's why jesus said in john 13 25 by your love the world will know you are my disciples it is only by your love and sacrifice the world will know you are my disciples yes now monica she started to take care of her husband soon the love of monica transformed him he began to cry like a child by that time drinking drinking his liver is gone heart is gone intestine is gone he was dying almost he one day monica brought food kept him on the lap and was feeding him because he is not able to stand suffering was so much and tears were falling in his eyes he looked at monica and said monica as a drunkard i would have fallen somewhere like a pig i would have died as a pig but now like an angel 
I am dying at the lap of an angel. You are not only wife for me, you are also mother for me. And he died. She was so happy. A great achievement, I could save one soul. God died for me to save me and the world and I will join with my master and I could save one man. Soon the son became drunkard. The mother never gave up. The history says in her age, 60s, she started to fast and pray for that son. And that son also was transformed. He repented for his sin. He became a priest. He became a bishop. He became a great writer on Bible. And he became the saint, Saint Augustine. Yes. Let God's love vibrate in your life. Be in touch with the enemy who is roaring like a lion. He is working with your mind. With all his dead works. Try to make you lose his spirit and become victim of evil. You are living in this battleground. May the love of God abide in you and make you a loving person because that's the purpose for which God has called you. Shall we all stand up and pray? We praise and thank you, Father, for this beautiful morning. Thank you for your word. Your word tells us that you saw the mankind dying and you are crying, whom shall I send? Who will go for us? There are very few people who responded. And in the fullness of time, you gave your only son for us that we may learn to understand your love for us. Oh Father, how much you have loved us that you gave your only son. Jesus, how much you have loved us that you died on the cross for us. Holy Spirit, you gave your very self for us. Knowing everything of mine, my sin, my past, still you want to be with me that I may have fellowship with you. On the other hand, Lord, help me to understand the enemy who works with all his dead works and make me an evil man, lust-filled man, woman. In order to remove that sin from me and make me once again your child, you shed your blood for me. May your precious blood be upon me, Lord. Cleanse me of all my sins. Help me to return back to you. Lord, sin, with love you formed me. But sin, through sin, Satan deforms me. But your cross is calling me back to reform me. May my deformed soul and life be reformed in your love and mercy. That having been reformed, I may be a witness for you, a disciple of yours. You are looking for people filled with your love. They will learn to die to themselves and to live for you. They will be conscious of their mind. They will be conscious of the evil dead works of the enemy. And they will not move around the weakness, but enter into the strength of God. Enter into the power of the Holy Spirit and speak of your love. Speak of your power and establish your power and cast away the evil forces. Cast away the evil that works in the lives of people. Raise up your right hand. Be filled with the love of Jesus. Ask the Holy Spirit, Lord, fill me. Let me be filled with your love, Father. Let me be filled with the love of you, Jesus. Let me be filled with love of you, Holy Spirit, that who is with me. Lord, help me to be in touch with 
the attacks of the enemy 24 hours he is after me to corrupt my mind to lead me with the dead works though i am deformed in my sin lord your love is reforming me is calling me come back to me my son come back to me my daughter even though your sins are so red come to me i will forgive you and make you white come back to me being filled with my love having forgiven with my blood and transform your thinking be in touch with your thinking every minute be in touch with your thinking the enemy is at work in you if you allow your thoughts to lead you that is the end of your life be aware of the love of god and you have to direct your thoughts with the love and sacrifice of god should be there every minute of my life lord make me you said by your love by your sacrifice by your way of life the world will know that you are my disciple make me your disciple lord